Pisces. Happy mid-October, or November. Oy. I hope you're doing well. Okay. I laid out the cards, guys, already. Okay. Sun, moon, arising, if you choose. Um, there's a lot going on now, and I'm sure that you already feel it. Uh, super full moon. Okay. We've got a planet dance. Um, it's pretty intense. Okay. I'm not an astrologer. Maybe check out one online and see what they're saying about the planets now. Um, the Pluto dance. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it, I just know it's very intense. Okay. I'm not going to put the fear in you. It's just, you want to be conscious now of what you're doing. Okay. All right. Here is the, uh, check Aquarius. If you see if you've got that somewhere in your chart or, or just, just check it out. I have the same, that reading was beyond intense. And I'm getting the same feeling from this reading, a misuse of power somewhere. And it, it's just someone in the mix here is not who they appear to be. They're, they're just not. And to a, you know, to a dangerous degree, I should say, a very imbalanced degree. Okay. So we're going to go through the cards and we'll see what that's about. I just, as I was laying this out, um, I have a very uneasy feeling. So let's see what that's about. All right. But, but check out that. I'm pretty sure. I think that that was, I think that that reading was Aquarius. I, I just do, I think. Okay. All right, the overall energy coming in here is the Page of Cups, okay? This is someone who is, you know, very creative. I think what it's showing up as, though, is a creative project, an idea, something you're trying to do. It's young energy. It could be a relationship, a new relationship coming in, a message coming in about love. Someone... This has a potential, and I'm not going to, I'm just not going to candy coat it. This is, has like stalker feeling around it, and I don't know where that's coming from. So just could be why I said to keep an eye on consciously what you're doing, okay? I mean, no way saying that. I'm just saying just keep your eyes open because I, I just have a feeling here that someone in your midst is not who they appear to be, okay? All right. And I think that you being, you know, a nurturing sign, a giving sign, uh, I think you may walk into this without realizing it, okay? It's got a potential to, to really not go well, okay? So underneath it too, underneath here, your energy card, the, the page, you've got the five of cups here. Five of Cups. Okay. Something not going exactly how you thought it would. Okay, but it ends up being a blessing in disguise. I think this may be a relationship with someone that uh, just it is either uh, obsessive they're just not balanced. It's just, it's just, they're just not balanced. And we'll see who it is in here. Okay. All right. How you show up for the read is the eight of coins and the magician. Okay. So you're trying to create something here. Okay. And you have all the resources that you need to do that. Okay. There we go. I think our answer lies in here, but I want to come back to that. Okay. Where you're anchored here is the emperor. You've got the emperor and the empress in here, both of them. Okay. Okay, this could be a family unit here. Okay. So the emperor, okay, structure, stability. Um, 
discipline. You know, uh, it's the you know it's it's what you what are you rooted in? You know, what are your morals? What are you know, right from wrong, vice and virtue? Okay, you're anchored in that. That's a good thing. Okay. It could be a person, though, too. A strong, very strong personality. That's the Aries fire, okay? Okay. Near past, you've got the Eight of Cups, okay? It's Those are all the phases through your life, okay? And there you are. And you're just, you're not emotionally fulfilled, okay? It's abandonment of a project, something you're not doing, something you're not fulfilled in. It's just not going the distance, okay? It's stepping away from it for a bit to see what else is there, okay, or what this is about, okay? You know, it could be, too, um, all right, we've got, they're right next to each other, these two eights. Okay, one is the past energy that's very much current in here, and the eight of coins is how you show up here with the magician. So you may have walked away from something in the past to start something new. That could be what it is, too. Okay. This can be a relationship, too, or a project. Okay. It's something that's, you know, it's grounded, it's tangible, it's emotional, you know. There we go. Okay. The crown of this reading is the Knight of Coins. Okay. This can be a person. It could be a message about money coming. You know, the eight of coins is financial security too, right? You're building um, a strong foundation for yourself. That could be what it is here too. You know, some money com is coming in here for what you're doing. Okay. Because the magician, I mean, he, this is a card that, you know, manifestation, law of attraction. So it's not surprising at all that that there's, you know, money coming in here. Okay. All right. Where you go here in the near future is the Empress. She's also a reminder. We just had her, I think, in a past in the past reading. Um, you're creative. She's reminding you of that. You know what you can do. You know. She's also about the holistic approach to, you know, manifestation, the natural ways things that are innate in you, right? And I'm not talking about the south node boredom. I'm talking about you know the things that light you on fire, right? And the things that don't, okay? You know the difference between the two. Okay. All right. Where you go from here, where you show up in this in the near future, is the tower card, okay? It's actually called the falling tower here because things that were you know, a strong foundation for you are no longer fulfilling, okay? So you're, you're building, you know, a stronger foundation for yourself. But first, you've got to realize the truth in the matter and then rebuild, right? Okay. Okay. Your day-to-day, -day, you've got the King of Wands. This could be a boss. Uh, you know, it could be, you've got the emperor and the empress in here. This could be, if it is a person, it's, you know, it's a strong personality. It's a charming personality. It's a very strong personality. Um, again, it's a fire sign. It's usually someone who's married, too, right? Um,
Anyway, we'll come back to that. I'm going to pull clarifiers anyway, so don't, don't panic, okay? All right, your hopes and fears, you've got the five of wands, okay? This is, it needs a reassessment when the five shows up, right? Is this worth it to you? Is the drama, is it, are you, you know, it's not a meeting of the minds. Is it, is it worth your time? Is it, you know, people coming at you with nonsense, right? All right, I don't think that's any, we're going to, five of wands, that's an unknown journey, right? You're, you're, you're not quite sure how this is going to turn out yet, right? But you're giving it your all. It's, it's diligently lurk, working at something. You know what you're doing. It's, it's also, it tells you to, to not miss a little thing. You're not, if these are stones of dignity, you're putting your all into it, Right? You're building financial security here for the things that are important to you. Okay. The outcome card is the devil card. You've got the devil and the tower. The emperor, the king of wands, the empress. All right, the tower, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the devil card is is a misuse of power in some way, or you're giving your power away to someone else, okay? You could be giving your power away to this, to the people, you know, pulling at you and a thousand different things being, you know, thrown at you on your plate, you know? This emperor, the king of wands, they can be, you know, bosses, financial institutions, um, they're usually above you. There's there's something that you need to, to deal with. Bankers, insurance, you know, things that responsibilities in life, right? That's what they represent. You know, your your anchor here in the emperor, which is really just it's the archetype of structure, right? Day to day craziness we have to deal with on the day-to-day -day sometimes it just gets to be too much sometimes and um, I think you're trying to really build something here and the Empress is you know it can be a strong relationship too that is a solid a rock-solid relationship it's a long-standing relationship Okay, but an eight is, an eight is a, is a, you know, it's a pretty long withstanding, can be a relationship too, but it's no longer fulfilling, right? So you could be, you know, going in a different direction here. Coins aren't necessarily just, you know, you could be, you could be going in a different direction here. I'm just going to say, you've got the tower card here and the devil card, okay? It could be, you know, sometimes the devil card is taking, it's the oomph we need to push through to rebuild our lives, right? It could be just the drive that you're, you're trying to get this off the ground with, right? This can be a relationship or it can be a... Uh, you know, anything tangible here. Either way, this is a good combination, and I say that because we've got to, you know, tear down to build up, right? And we've got to take our power back, and that requires some of this. You know, sometimes we need that, oof, you know? But when I can't discount, though, the message that I got um, coming in here to just... Uh, if you're going into business with someone else, let's just say that, okay? Make sure you know who these people are, okay? Um, 
from A to Z. Okay, this card here, don't miss any little detail. That's what it says too, okay? The magician can be a business partner, okay? It doesn't necessarily need to be you, but this is someone who can be very, very manipulative. Remember, he's the trickster too. He wears many faces, so make sure that what's going on is really, you know, who this is. If this is in a relationship, definitely make sure you know who this is, okay? If this is you, Pisces, coming into a relationship here with the magician, and it's not um, a business deal, if it actually is a relationship, the magician in a relationship is someone that would have you so tangled around the things that they expect of you that by the end of the day, you would be looking at yourself in the mirror saying, who the hell am I? They don't, I don't think they, they know they're doing it. It's just they, it's just, it just would not be fulfilling anymore. You would be lost. You would, you would literally lose sight of who you were. They're that intense. It's that kind of, uh, again, you'd see it on Lifetime TV, like, you know, the perfect nanny, the perfect whatever, but you know, they're coming at you like this, right? Um, if that's what that is, it's, it's this, okay? It's, it's, you have to look a certain way. You have to do certain things. You have to eat certain foods. It's, it's like you're, you become like the step for a partner, right? It, it's a, but I can't, again, discount that message that I got in here. Um, it's, it's someone with a very obsessive personality, okay? So really know who this, this is. They have the tendency, it could go, like I say, I don't mean to put the fear of anything in you, but, you know, just know who's who you're doing business with. Know who's in your surroundings, okay? If you move somewhere new, know who your neighbors are. Don't just answer the door for someone, okay? Just assuming that, you know, they live next door. It must be good. Know who the people are that are around you, okay? I'm going to pull clarifiers. Hang on. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying, all right? We've got a lot of intense energy. This is when a lot of the cuckoos come out. Like, you know, just, just. Okay. I'm clarifying the magician and the eight of cups. Okay. I have the Magician in Reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. The Magician in Reverse, you do not want to see that. That is everything I just told you, and then some, okay? Two of Swords, you're divided. You're not quite, you kind of know something's not right, but you're just not sure what, okay? Figure it out, okay? You've got the Three of Wands, which means you've cast your nets, and you're waiting for something to come in. If this is a business partnership, know who they are, because clearly something's not on the up and up here, okay? Three of Wands, though, too, it can be, you know, a relationship that involves more than one person. You could be involved with someone that's married and you don't even know it, right? Just putting this out there, guys, so you have a bunch of scenarios here. Okay. I want to see who the emperor here is. That's okay. fine. Clarifying the Emperor, which is where you're grounded here. Okay, you've got the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the King of Cups. Okay. The King of Cups, he is the, you know, he's the quintessential um, uh, knight in chaining armor, right? This is someone that, if it is a person, you know, 
it's someone that you know, but that just realizes that they care for you deeply more, you know, than just a friend, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, so they may not be telling you just yet, okay? You've got the Ten of Swords, which means that, you know, they may break the silence and tell you, okay? So I don't think the culprit in any of this is the Emperor, okay? I don't see anything around him, so let's somewhat eliminate him, okay? Clarifying the Empress here, you've got the Nine of Coins, the Hanged Man, and the Magician, the Hermit. I'm sorry. She may be a trusted friend or a confidant, okay? She is also um, she's also a card of protection, okay? The Nine of Cups, I'm sorry, the Nine of Coins. That is uh, a card of, you know, someone, uh, the single woman, the bachelorette, right? Could be a, a man too, though. You know, they just don't want to be married. That could be, you know, who this is. She doesn't have to be married to the emperor here just because they show up, right? They're just both very strong personality types, okay? And the hangman, too, you know, looking at things in a different perspective. This may be someone, you know, she may be a friend of yours that would be a good person to talk to, all right? Okay, the tower card here is the Fool card, the High Priestess, and the Strength card. Okay, that's how you show up here, okay? I think it is, like I said, you've got to tear down a structure to build another one. I think you are just going in a different direction here, too. I think there may be more than one thing going on, but I think you're moving in a different direction here, okay? You've got the Fool card, you've got the High Priestess, and you've got the Strength card. I'm going to say this because I just got it. If you're moving, know who your neighbors are. Do not let people in your house that you don't know who they are. Okay? The high priestess, trust your intuition here. Okay? And the strength card, the lust for life card. Okay? You move. You've got a cute neighbor. Know who they are. Okay? Know who they are first. I'm just saying, okay, this very, very rarely means something is actually going to happen to your house, okay? That's what I'm saying. You could have moved, all right? All right, let's see here. All right, this is your day-to-day, -day, your home life. I think this is the culprit here. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to say it, okay? You are one of the nicest, kindest signs in the zodiac. You're a nurturer. You're a caregiver, okay? It's written all over you, so you're going to attract uh the wounded dog the you know the 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 people that need help that kind of deal okay do not this is a strong personality here okay just look at this you know you're so 
over here. That's a strong personality, okay? His flip side is this is someone who is constantly on the quest for love. They, they never get enough. It's like an insatiable appetite that they have, right? Know the people in your life. If you're getting into a relationship with someone, okay, no matter what you do, you're never going to fill the appetite of this person. You're never going to, it's never going to be enough, okay? And this person is showing up in your day-to-day -day life. So if you do not know who this is, they very much know who you are, okay? So just keep your peepers open, okay? If you moved, if a new neighbor moved in, I don't know why I keep harping on that, but pay attention to me, okay? Okay, the tower card. I'm sorry, the devil card on the outbound, okay? You've got the chariot, you've got the queen of swords, and you've got the knight of swords. Use these energies, okay? The chariot, use your mind, figure it out. The queen of swords, nothing's going to get past her. Put your BS radar on, okay? And him. He's very intellectual. He, he, he's the fastest knight in the deck, for sure, but he's smart, okay? You want him as your ally, okay? If this isn't an actual person that you know, a, an air sign friend of yours, take on that quality, okay? Be smart. Use your head, okay? All right, guys, I think I cleared it all up, okay? Just know your surroundings. That's all I'm saying, okay? Know the people. Um, if you need further clarification or if you want a personal reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do that. I know this sounded horrific, and quite honestly, it is, but there's nothing more I can elaborate except to say know who's in your, you know, know who's in your, your realm here, okay? All right. Do yourself a favor too, okay? I'm not an astrologer, like I say, and this is entirely up to you. But go check out this Pluto thing that's going on with the planets, okay? It's it's pretty important, and it packs a wallop given it's it's with this full moon too, okay? All right. Thank you so much again. Have a wonderful rest of your month. Thank you. See you in, in December.